Well, we've been grinding our own feed for, oh, about four years now. We're running about 10 ton a week and uh, making four different rations for the dairy cattle, the steers, the young pigs, and the finishing hogs. Well, it'll grind corn faster in the mill we traded. Yeah, I can fill this mixer, drive it across the road, and unload it all in about 20 minutes. I'll tell you, the first time we unloaded this new 100, we were a little amazed. It really puts it out. It's the hydraulics. Only takes about three minutes to unload 4,600 pounds. Providing the right feed for livestock has always been a challenge to farmers. In addition to being back-breaking work, making the one, two, or three times a week trip to the local mill has always been an expensive chore. It all comes at a cost, in terms of labor, fuel, time, and mill expenses. But more importantly, in terms of what could be accomplished at your farm while you are waiting at the mill. We're feeding 650 hogs, and we've never used the mill in town. It's only seven miles away, but by the time I could even get the truck loaded, I can have the mix all hooked up, grind a tank full, and be ready for unloading. Six years ago, I got my first mix all, and last year I traded it off on this new 100, and it's really an improvement. It's faster, and I'll tell you, I wouldn't have anything else but hydraulics. These farmers took a big step to increase feeding efficiency on their farms when they moved up to Gale mix -alls. Now, they've increased their efficiency even more with the new hydraulic mix-alls from Gale. I'll tell you, that hydraulic drive is quite an improvement. That's right. On-the-farm feed making has been revolutionized and made easier than ever before. Gale's new generation of mix-alls, the 100 and the 135, are hydraulic. Now you can have all the advantages and convenience of total hydraulically controlled feed making right on your farm with mix-alls. With hydraulically operated feeding attachments, you get variable speed control for the greatest capacity, no matter what your tractor horsepower. The variable speed drive belts and gear clusters are gone from the feeding and unloading attachments on these new mix-alls. Now, you get more speed than you ever thought possible, both in feeding the mill and in unloading. They're the new mix-alls, totally new portable feed makers with hydraulics designed in, not added on. Both the 100 and the 135 feature Gale's proven high-capacity 21-inch wide mill with 66 reversible hammers to cut your feed instead of pounding it into powder. Our mill gives you a more uniform grind. Your ration mixes thoroughly. A fan on the back of the mill pulls the material through the screens. You get greater mill capacity. Now you can grind each feed ingredient, whether it's hay, oats, corn, barley, whatever, as you want it ground with a wide selection of quick change screens. And when we say quick change, we mean it. Watch. Simply release the two handles, pull out one screen, drop in the other, lock the door again, and you're ready for a different grinding consistency. There's a throw-out clutch at the front of the mixer that can be used to shut off the mill during transport and unloading. Either way, the mixing auger can be left running. You can do away with feed layers and settling problems with the continuous action of these mix-alls. The new design inside the tanks on these mix-alls reduces bridging. The auger tubes are suspended from the top of the tanks with no flow-restricting cross braces. In addition, the auger tube on the 135 is shorter for better mixing of hay, straw, or other bulky materials. If you're adding concentrates, medications, vitamins, mineral supplements, or other additives, you'll like the hoppers on the new mix -alls. They feature fold-down bag cutter bars and bag guards. And no matter what you're grinding, or what you're adding as a supplement, you can control your feed mix completely with the optional electronic scales. The three way bars, one in each axle and one in the hitch, give you accurate net weights. Now you can have total control of your ration for the best possible feed conversion. As a convenience to you, the weight indicator box and the alarms can be mounted just about any place on the tank that's handy. Now we talked about hydraulic convenience and speed. Let's take a closer look.
both the 100 and the 135 have self-contained hydraulic units. These are designed in, not added on as attachment options. By being self-contained, you can use a variety of tractors with no worry about oil mixing or coupler matches. The hydraulic pump develops up to 2,000 pounds of pressure and pumps out 10 and a half gallons per minute. You get faster, more consistent motor speeds. Orbit motors run the stationary discharge conveyor, the unloading conveyor, and the feeding attachments. Attachments like the swinging auger feeder, the feed roll, the small grain auger, and the power bale feeder. These mix halls do use a tractor hydraulic system if you want the gravity feeder only. Now, let's talk about speed. Once your feed has been ground and mixed, you'll get unloading speed and ease like you've never had before. A single control runs the entire unloading system, including the unloading conveyor. This conveyor is suspended from the discharge conveyor and is completely enclosed for wind and weather protection. It's a full eight inches big and features an open end. Want unloading speed? The 100 unloads in just three and a half minutes. A 12-foot conveyor is standard, giving you plenty of reach. If you've got some really hard to get to bunks or feeders, you can also get a three-foot stationary extension. For super reaching capacity, longer folding extensions are available to let you unload into bunks as high as 18 feet. The unloading conveyor can be raised and lowered 60 degrees with a friction winch and locks in the position you want for unloading. With both the 100 and the 135, you can unload from the right, rear, or left sides of the mix halls. Both units feature 270 degree conveyor maneuverability, so you can set up and unload from either side of the machine. And the conveyor positively locks to the side for transport. What about those feeding attachments? Remember, they're hydraulically operated to give you both convenience and variable speed. The seven foot swinging auger feeder is most commonly used for small grains and ear corn. The 12 inch auger has dual hydraulic controls for an infinite number of loading speeds, one at the hopper end and one at the mill. When you're ready to transport, the hopper wing folds to the inside, giving you eight foot road clearance. There's also a hydraulically driven feed roll with a gravity feeder. If you're set up for augering grain, shelled corn, wheat, or whatever, and you want to mix in some hay, this may be the attachment for you. Both the 100 and the 135 can be outfitted with a swinging auger feeder, the feed roll, and the gravity feeder. If you're into grinding large amounts of hay or straw, you'll want the giant capacity 135 mixall with the power bale feeder. This is a hydraulically driven bale feeder. The bale table folds up for transport and setup time is only seconds. This variable speed bale feeder features a six foot table. An additional 21 inch table extension is available. Apron speed can be controlled from either side of the bale table. A unique governor prevents overloading the mill. It's an industry first. And you want speed? This bale feeder can take as many as four and a half standard bales a minute. Sound like a lot? Well, it is. But you've got a 21-inch wide shredding cylinder at the mill end to break up even the toughest bales. The power bale feeder features a power beyond hydraulic outlet for the small grain auger using the same variable speed drive. Both the 100 and the 135 can be fitted with magnets to catch hardware before it gets into the mill, preventing mill damage and hardware disease. The 100 features two full-length calibrated tank windows. With the 135, you get three. Both units let you watch loading, mixing action, and monitor unloading operations as well. If you're still breaking your back, loading your truck, and paying mill costs for feed grinding, now's the time to move up to on-the-farm feed-making ease. You can also eliminate farm-to-farm -farm transfer of livestock diseases brought in by bags or custom grinders. If you already have a mill, no matter what the brand, take a good hard look at it the next time you grind a load. Compare feature for feature, capacity, 
ease of operation, mechanical versus hydraulic control, grinding speed, mixing thoroughness, unloading speed. Want to join the farmers who are moving up to hydraulic convenience? Then see your Gale dealer for the full story on the new generation of mixalls. Now's the time to increase your feeding efficiency and start getting real results with Gale.